everybody, this is Tom, and for this micro moment, a little update on the soggy bottom hollow micro layout. I went with a cardstock kit, and I like this kit, and absolutely nothing wrong with this kit, but my heart wasn't into it. It just wasn't working, and I kind of deviated from the directions. Turns out that I messed it up, uh, and so I've kind of peeled some stuff off, and it just, just wasn't working for me. And it these have in the past, I think my heart was really wanting to build something more traditional as a scratch build. Originally, the plan was to use this for speed, and these go together in just a couple of days. They go pretty quick, but I decided to go ahead and do a more traditional scratch build. And this little kit here is just uh, no prototype. I'm just using some general dimensions and very generic, and I used... Uh, mixed media for this. I've got the walls or styrene and then I use basswood stripping uh, for the siding and then for the doors and for the windows I'm going to go ahead and use the Clever Models um, windows and doors. Uh, I like these so I'm going to use these not from this particular kit. I've got the um, I can print these out and cut them out and use this and then then I'll uh, layer up some strip wood around it and give it more three dimension with that. And then I went ahead and took this cardstock to test out my roof. And I've got that set. And I'll go ahead and use some styrene and put that on. And then I've got to decide whether I want to do tar paper or something maybe like cedar shake or even maybe a um, metal corrugated roof. Still thinking about that. I just washed this with some alcohol and India ink wash it's still drying it'll it'll fade some you notice i've got kind of a mix of painted and then this side wasn't painted at all and as i go through this i'll paint it again using this kind of a cream color and the green it's a hunter green just using the apple barrel craft paints and the americana uh camel is the color of that yellow that cream color and Touch that up, do maybe a little peeling paint effect. And this will be really my focal structure for this layout, the little flag stop halt station. I also ordered some kits from uh, Make It With Calvin at uh, Etsy. And I'm going to have those down here in the hollow of the region and still need to paint the backdrop. And that's the plan coming up here the rest of the summer. Summer's been kind of busy, a lot of outside activities. And the heat's getting building in. It's getting hotter. It's more humid here in Missouri. So I have a tendency to come inside and work more often. That's what I did this past week. It was a little hot this week, but I came in and uh, after a couple of days, just uh, threw that little uh, depot together and coming along nice. Decided to make a change. I think for now, this subject to change without notice, is that uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and focus on finishing this layout and detailing it out this year. Over on the uh, cartel group, the Micro Railway Cartel over on Facebook, there's a contest for the shoebox layout. It's a little micro layout you build within a shoebox. I think I'm gonna sit this out this year, that contest. Uh, this was last year's contest. Of course, I obviously didn't make it, but I'm gonna concentrate on this. I'm gonna really detail this out and fix it up um, and really work on this. I've gotta still do my water effects and, and put uh, grasses and different things and paint the backdrop and all. And I wanna really um, uh, finish this out real nice. And even give some thought to maybe uh, going in the fall to a train show and maybe putting it up for sale if it turns out real nice. We'll see how it goes. But this is my 2024 project. And I think that's the way I'm gonna do it. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this out this year, and then I'll start something new for 2025. But I'll be back later this summer and give you a progress update on the uh, depot and the other structures that are going on here. So thank you for watching, and uh, hope to catch you next time. Thank you.